Hello, I'm Lyndon Schneider. Welcome to the Santa Fe Institute's online learning platform, Complexity Explorer. As you probably already know, Complexity Explorer is the home for a growing collection of complex systems resources, including online courses and short tutorials. These resources are open to anyone in the world and range from introductory to advanced levels. Complexity Explorer is supported by the Santa Fe Institute, an independent research center exploring the frontiers of complex system science. You can read about Complexity Explorer by going to the About menu item on the website. The Complexity Explorer project was founded by a grant from the John Templeton Foundation. The project is currently funded by the Santa Fe Institute, donations from students, tuition, and grants from other organizations that support the development of specific courses. Let's go to the courses page. Here you can see our tutorial and course offerings. There are three different types of courses, active, upcoming, and archived. Active courses are open for enrollment and in session with an instructor team. In an active course, you can earn a certificate. We usually offer one active session of a course per year. Upcoming courses include courses that are planned but are not yet in session. Usually a course opens for enrollment about one month before it starts. Archive courses contain all of the videos, quizzes, and optional homeworks from courses that are not in session, so you can learn on your own time. Keep in mind you cannot earn a certificate in an archived course. Tutorials are short self-paced modules you can follow at any time that take just a few hours to complete. Now let's check out an active course. This course has 10 units. In a typical course, the units will consist of video lectures, quizzes, and tests, all done online at your own pace. There could also be a series of optional homework assignments or peer-reviewed assignments. While you're getting live help from the instructor, none of the lectures are live, so you can work through the material at a pace that's best for you during the course session. On this page, you can see a list of all the available lectures. Clicking the side arrow expands a lecture to show the different sections with videos, quizzes, and tests. You can select any available section in this view or you can click on the Watch Current Video button under the Lectures tab. The system will remember how far you get in each session, so you'll be able to return to your current video with ease. You can also access your current video by clicking on the Resume Course button. You can either select videos or other segments, such as quizzes and tests from the List All Videos button, or you can click on the next or previous buttons to move through the materials. When you watch a video or complete a quiz, you'll notice the segment gets checked off on the List All Videos tab to keep track of your progress. If you want to skip a segment and get it checked off, you can check it off manually by just clicking the checkbox. Note that you can watch the videos directly on our website, or you can download them to your own computer using the download video button. Our videos are all streamed to our web page from YouTube. So if you live in a place where YouTube is not available, you can simply download the videos directly and watch them on your own computer. Use the gear icon at the bottom right of the video to see and select subtitle languages. If you click on the gear icon and don't see a list of subtitle languages, that means that the video you watching doesn't have any subtitles yet. Next to the download video button, there's a subtitles and transcripts button. You can click here to download any of the available subtitles and transcripts to have on your computer. You can change the video speed or video quality here as well. Each unit will contain several short videos along with exercises and quizzes to test your understanding. These exercises and quizzes are for you to see how well you've understood the material, and they will not count towards your grade in the course. Your grade is based on the end of unit tests, and 
the peer-reviewed assignments, which you will complete throughout the course. Tests should be done by you alone without any help from anyone or discussion with anyone. Of course, we're relying on the honor system to trust that you'll do these tests on your own. The tests are open book in the sense that you're welcome to go back and review any of the course material or readings to help you in completing these tests. You may see peer-reviewed assignments in some courses. A peer-reviewed assignment is one that's graded by at least three of your fellow students following a rubric that is created by the course instructors. You will also be asked to grade three student assignment submissions. There are two deadlines associated with peer-reviewed assignments, a deadline for submission of your own work and a deadline for submission of your reviews of other students' work. Make sure to keep track of these. Two-thirds of your grade for a peer-reviewed assignment comes from the average of the three scores you receive, and the other one-third comes from your reviewing at least three of your peers' assignments. To earn a certificate, you need to get an average score of 70% or higher across all tests and peer review assignments. You can view and download your certificate once you have completed all the segments of the course and taken the final test. Complexity Explorer courses have different knowledge prerequisites. These prerequisites are displayed on the course description page Courses are not associated with a particular textbook, but you can find links to optional readings on the supplementary materials section of the course. All of this and more is described on the frequently asked questions page of each course, which I highly recommend reading. Now, let's look at the course forum. The course forum is where students and instructors can post questions, answers, topics for discussion, and so on. When you post on the forum, please make sure you're posting in the correct subforum. All course announcements will be posted on the forum and sent out by email. If you want, you can also send private messages to other students on the forum. Now, there are a few other things worth mentioning. You can see your overall progress for a particular course by clicking on the My Progress tab within that course. My Progress will show you your test scores, your peer review assignment scores, and how far along you are in the course. It's a handy way to navigate directly to tests or peer assignments. Just click on the test or assignment name and you'll be taken right to it. You can also access this page by clicking on your name in the top right hand corner of the website to access the My Accounts page. Within My Account, if you navigate to My Enrollments, you will also see the courses you have been enrolled in or are currently enrolled in listed, and you can access the same progress report as before by clicking on progress report. Within my accounts, you can also edit various things related to your account. In particular, you can enter some information about yourself for the forum profile. You can also edit your enrollments and your email settings here. If you're participating in a paid course session, Almost everything will be the same, with just a few key differences. It's free to enroll in a paid course and view the first unit, but to continue the session with the rest of the class, take the tests, complete the peer-reviewed assignments, and earn your certificate, you'll need to pay a minimum tuition fee. Paid courses will have a lock displayed on the course image and say, behind paywall. The majority of our courses are free. There are scholarships available to deserving students. To see whether you have access to a paid course, go to My Enrollments in your account page. If you see a closed lock next to the course name, then you do not have access. If you see an open lock or a trophy, it means that you do have access. For more information on paid versus free courses, courses versus tutorials, the peer-reviewed assignment system, and active, archived, and upcoming courses, check out the website's Frequently Asked Questions page under the About menu item. Finally, the Santa Fe Institute's online learning platform is funded in part by grants, but also in part by student donations. You can enjoy our courses and tutorials, and please consider donating to our program. 100% of your donation will go to supporting development of more free, online, complex systems learning resources.
To support our program, just click on the Donate button found on the Donate page under the Support menu item. You can also get involved by developing subtitles for our course videos. We encourage subtitle submissions in any language. You can find out how to sign up by navigating to the Volunteer to Subtitle Videos page under the Support menu item. Lastly, if you're looking to show your support for Complexity Explorer to your friends and family, visit our online shop for a selection of clothes and accessories with the Complexity Explorer logo. Hopefully now you have a good idea of how courses on Complexity Explorer work and will join us in class. See you there.